Hey, in this week's happy hour, how to a surefire way to give your party some punch. Mixologist Adam Seeger is going to show us how to make two, count them, two tasty adult punches. Perfect for your next get together. Okay, my friend, welcome. What are we making? I love it. Well, good morning, Michael. We're going to make about a gallon of sangria. So start yes, please. pouring. Okay. Oh, just, just, All right. okay. Just pour. So this stuff is great. It's called EPA. It's got blood oranges and pomegranate, blueberry, acai. So lots of antioxidants in there. So, kind so of it's a healthy adult beverage. Exactly. It's good for for you. Guilt free cocktailing. All right. Now we've got all kinds of fruit in there. You can get fruit that's from your farmer's market or your backyard. You want some more in there? Throw a little bit more in there. Okay. And not quite all of it because okay. we're going to do a little bit of a garnish on your on your glass. You got it. There you go. Now Prosecco. Uh, this yeah, is what is Prosecco? Well, Prosecco is kind of Italy's welcome wine. <laughs> And it's sparkling. You see those great bubbles going on right in there? That's going to add a little bit of effervescence. It's going to dry out the sangria, make it a little bit more savory so you can have a few glasses. All right. Uh, Prosecco also. You want some help stirring? I got this. I got the stirring for you. All right. Now are you thirsty? Uh, have you met me? Of course. All right. It's Friday. I thought so. All right. Here we go. All right. So we're going to fill this up. And with the sangria, what is fantastic is once this is made, it's on autopilot and you can enjoy your time with your guest. Yeah, and you could just you could let this sit overnight, right? And serve it the next day. It it actually gets better overnight because the fruit is gonna macerate with all that those great super fruits. Love but it. But you do want to add your prosecco just at the last minute. The prosecco at the last minute, okay, because that kind of cuts the sweet. Is that what you said? Exactly. Okay, perfect. Cheers. All right. Now the pineapple 43 punch is next, yes? Right. Now you're gonna do the uh, the honors here. This is just to start pouring. You've got about <laughs> 15 ounces to go. <laughs> okay. So so liqueur 43, this is a recipe that dates back to 200 BC. Uh, the ancient Romans started making it and then it started being made in the early 20s in bottle in Spain. And it's mainly vanilla and citrus herbs, so it adds a lot of complexity. So all we're adding basically is this fantastic potato vodka. Potato vodka from Poland. Well, and well, potatoes, be... uh, you're, 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 about, you're good there. My All brother, right. there is a lot of booze in this. <laughs> All right, I, you can stop pouring. Okay. All right, perfect. Okay. All right, so we've just got our <laughs> pineapple juice. We've got our fantastic uh, Luxoa potato vodka. Now we're going to add a little bit of ice and okay. some oranges. But what's magical here is the liqueur 43, there's actually 43 different ingredients in it. No. Exactly. So even though we just have three ingredients in our punch that we made so quickly, you're going to have a nice, complex punch for your guests to enjoy all weekend long. Well, here you go. Let's cheers. We'll throw some oranges in there. Oh, because we got a garnish. All cheers. Right. All right. So Adam shared these two recipes for these two tasty punches with us. You're going to be able to find them on kclive.tv later on today. So cheers again, my friend. All right. To vitamin in. C. Yes. To healthy drinking. <laughs> Let's toss it over to Michelle, who's talking weekend movies.